how do I evaluate my online sources when it comes to my uh, assignments or arguments? Um, usually, um, it depends on the subject. For example, like when I use politics, um, really comes down to fact checking. You know, I use like fact checking websites to see if it's true or not in order to claim my debate or my claim. Um, but I said it really depends what subject I'm doing. Uh, but using .gov, .edu, .org, .net is more reliable because, like, you know, they're not, you know, I guess they're not like, you know, like, not anyone can just, you know, just post whatever they want, you know, while .com, they can post, like, their own opinions. They, they, uh, they, they get money off, you know, they use, like, they get money while, like, you know, edu, .gov, you know, is more like, you know, how you say, just more credible, you know, it's just like, it's just more reliable. Um, so, yeah. While edu is more academic, you know, like, uh, SHSU, you know, SHSU, I know SHSU has like the, 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 the MLK library, um, uh, they have their own database, uh, and then I, I like to use that because like, oh, it's reliable, you know, when I, when I do some like science research, I can use that database to use the right ones and the, use, um, that gets the right sources, you know, correct, you know, scholarly backed up, you know, professionally or like academically revised. When it comes to .com, you know, I try to use like more common you know like common big you know the big guys for example like uh some scientists website I like to use like uh natural national geographic um and discovery because they're like in history.com because they they're they're more you know they're they're pretty common you know they they're, they're known for like stating their facts they rarely have any problems about like you know with other claims